Tukcharagani, Masida Miam na Waro Bidanaba, Noluk Naning Singzari, Seba Fangzariba, Doctor Git Chandra Tongbram Amadi Imumanung, Hawa Maraka Samlikai. Admission for Vivgyor Institute of Management and Information Technology. Manipur's coronavirus fatality count rises to five. India replaces Italy to claim fifth spot in COVID-19 fatalities. Will spare none, says CMB Rain over Chandel Ambush. Good afternoon, you're watching the news today at 1. I'm Mandira, and now the news in detail. In Manipur, the coronavirus death count has reached five after one more patient died at Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences, Jenims, Imphal today. The 38-year-old deceased Muhammad Sajad Ahmed Khan from Lilong Kuno of Thobal district died at 4.30 a.m., an official statement said. It said the COVID-19 patient died of cardiopulmonary failure and other ailments. He was admitted to the hospital on July 29. The total number of COVID-19 positive cases in Manipur has spiked to 2,505, with 47 fresh cases detected in the last 24 hours. According to the latest update from the COVID-19 Common Control Room, the new cases were confirmed at the Virus Research and Diagnostic Laboratories VRDLs, of Regional Institute of Medical Sciences RIMS Imphal, Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences Janims Imphal, Churachanpur Babina Diagnostics, Imphal West RAT and Sija Hospital RAT. The new cases hail from Imphal West, Thaubal, Imphal East, Kangpokpi, Sanapati, Churachanpur and Tegnopal districts and they are now getting medical treatment at different COVID care facilities. Now the number of active cases in Manipur has touched 829 while 1,672 individuals have recovered. In all, 19 persons were discharged from different COVID care centres across the state in the past 24 hours. India today overtook Italy's coronavirus death toll to claim the fifth spot in terms of the number of fatalities due to the infection, according to John Hopkins University. According to the latest coronavirus single-day data shared by the Health Ministry, India in the past 24 hours has reported 779 deaths, taking the death toll in the country to 35,747. Over 18,000 of these were reported in July alone. With 35,747 fatalities due to coronavirus, India achieved a grim milestone by becoming the country with the fifth highest coronavirus death toll in the world. It surpassed Italy with a fatality tally of 35,132. In India, there are more than 5.45 lakh active coronavirus cases and a total of 10,57,805 patients have recovered. As per media reports, the country registered its biggest single-day spike of over 55,000 cases, which has taken the country's COVID-19 case load to 16,38,870 this morning. Nagaland Chief Minister Nefui Rio has quarantined himself at his home after a few staffers of his residential complex have tested positive for coronavirus, a media report said. Few persons in the Chief Minister's residential complex have tested positive for COVID-19. All SOPs are being implemented. The complex is being sanitized and the residential office closed for 48 hours. The normal functioning of the CMO is continuing following all guidelines. As a safety precaution, the Honorable Chief Minister is in home quarantine while strict adherence to SOPs has been put in place for primary and secondary contacts, the CMO said in a tweet. 
Manipur Chief Minister N. B. Rain, along with top police, military and civil officials today paid homage to the three Jawans of four Assam rifles who laid down their lives during an insurgent attack on July 29 last in Sajik Kongtal area under Chakpi Karun police station of Chandel district. Kurai constituency MLA L. Sushindro and Director General of Police L. M. Khote also attended the wreath laying ceremony in honor of the slain Jawans held at Bir Tikendrajit International Airport. Havildar Pranay Kalita from Assam, Rifleman Mehthana Konyak from Nagaland and Rifleman Ratan Salam from Kakching Manipur were killed in the militant ambush. Five Jawans were also critically injured in the attack. Referring to the Chandel attack, Birin said his government will spare none. Birin also said the door is always open for dialogue with insurgent groups. He further added that adopting violence in a democratic setup is unacceptable and that the government strongly condemns the dastardly act. He also extended solidarity to all the bereaved families. Meanwhile, Birin urged the public to extend fullest support to the government in the fight against COVID-19. Government will not be a silent spectator anymore. We definitely hunt them down and uh, we book as per the law. And uh, I want to also appeal to them to lead the hostilities, to lead the weapons and uh, come out for a political solution. And uh, India is not like before. India is now a superpower. I'm not triggering them. But we will definitely retaliate and uh, these terrorist groups will not compromise at any cost. The mortal remains of all the Jawans were handed over to their family members after the ceremony. Three militant groups, Manipur Naga People's Front, MNF, Revolutionary People's Front, RPF and United Liberation Front of Osom Independent had claimed responsibility for the ambush yesterday. We'll take a short break here. Keep watching. Kangan Jaba. Oirak liba COVID-19 laichat namaram oiraga. Lamzing ba Hospital and Medical Research Institute Private Limited na obstetrics amadi gynecology ki oina plan cases kakta mak lao zara gani. Ako pamarol gidamak makha da pija riba nambara sida contact teo biyo. Contact number 8258967890. Kangan Jari ba Dr. R.K. Kumarjit, Medical Superintendent, Lamzing ba Hospital and Medical Research Institute Private Limited. Anaupa feature single oina na lecha ray da chan ready go. Distinctive LED DRLS, 20 inch 32 cm infinement screen, smart drive auto, spacious cabin, flexible storage capacity, intuitive reverse parking access camera, starting price 3 lakh. Booking kita mag nasi maglengsin bira u island Nissan Kanjipur near Standard Robert Higher Secondary School. Admission for Vivgyor Institute of Management and Information Technology for the session 2020-2021. Affiliated to Manipur University. Eligibility 12 pass. Available courses are BBA, BCA. Short term courses. Available courses are DCA, CCCA, and Tally. Facilities available. State of art infrastructure. Well furnished and equipped classroom. Qualified and well experienced teacher. Visiting faculty from industry and academic. Placement call. Computer lab with internet facilities. Library, canteen, conference hall, and playground. For more details, please contact the office. Address Sangai Pro FCI Road, Imphal. Welcome back. Governor of Manipur, Dr. Najma Haptullah, today conveyed her warm greetings and good wishes to the people of Manipur, especially the Muslim brethren, on the auspicious occasion of Eid ul Zuha. In her message, Najma Haptullah said, Eid ul Zuha, the festival of sacrifice, signifies the spirit of sacrifice rising above the narrow barriers of one's ego and self interest for the good of all. The festival promotes tolerance, harmony, and goodwill amongst different communities, she added. Chief Minister N. Birin also extended his greetings to the people of Manipur, particularly the Muslim community, on the occasion of Eid ul Zuha 2020. Eid ul Zuha, the festival of sacrifice which falls in the Islamic month of Dhu al Hiza, is celebrated with traditional fervor and gaiety in India and the world. It commemorates the ancient story of great faith and sacrifice made by Prophet Ibrahim in the form of his son Ismail to God. 
Biren said in his message. Considering the prevailing situation of COVID-19 infection in the state, he said he once again exhorts the people of Manipur to take maximum precaution to stop spread of the COVID-19. Works Minister Thongam Vishwajit wished the people of the state, especially the Muslim community, on the auspicious occasion of Idul Zuha tomorrow. In his message, the minister said that Idul Zuha is the festival of sacrifice and charity, which is the basic framework for peace, amity, brotherhood and harmony amongst the many communities. Vishwajit urged the public to come together to beat COVID-19 pandemic. The work, works minister further appealed to maintain social distancing, wear masks, to avoid large gathering in the large interest of the people and the state. Health Minister L. Jayanta Kumar Singh today inaugurated a Maira Shankam community hall at Haubam Marak Ngangom Laikai in Imphal West by maintaining government laid down protocols and social distancing guidelines. He also gave awareness about do's and don'ts of COVID-19 to the participants during the program. Deputy Commissioner Imphal West District Naurim Praveen yesterday declared containment measures in the areas of Darbar Hall, CM Secretariat Imphal, Singjamai Thongam Laikai and Singjamai Mayingham Laikai. The order comes after some of the returnees, inmates and residents who had been home quarantined, quarantined at various quarantine centres in Imphal West District were tested COVID-19 positive, a release said. The returnees, inmates, residents who were tested COVID-19 positive have been shifted to COVID care facilities after confirmation. Cleaning and disinfecting of the areas and quarantine centres were also carried out as per the protocol issued by National Centre for Disease Control, NCDC, Directorate General of Health Services, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India, the release said. Since the conversation of Maurice Sub-District Hospital into a COVID care centre, the primary health centre, PHC, Moray has become the main health care centre of the residents. However, the PHC has faced acute shortage of staff. Currently, only two doctors are working around the clock at the PHC and that they are also handling emergency cases. Additional Deputy Commissioner Moray M. Manikanta visited the primary health centre and met Medical Officer Dr. Arun Kumar Sharma and Medical Officer in charge Dr. Shanti Kumar to discuss the shortage of main power at the primary health centre. ADC Manikanta assured that he will take up the matter with the Deputy Commissioner. All Manipur Students' Union, Tengnopal District Committee distributed face masks and hand sanitizers to COVID-19 frontline workers at Moray yesterday. AMSU volunteers provided the items to Moray Police, 43 Assam rifles posted at Moray Gate No. 2, Moray Hospital and 8 Manipur rifles personnel. The AMSU team also distributed face masks and hand sanitizers to police personnel on duty at Moray Market. Eight volunteers, including the Joint Secretary of Indian Red Cross Society, Bishnapur District Branch, Ilangbom Premjit, donated blood at Jennings Hospital, Porompad Blood Bank today. The blood donation camp was organized to meet the shortage of A positive blood group in the blood bank, the donors said. At the event, Premjit appealed to the masses to donate blood. Chandler Mishnupur New Life Foundation, Manipur and Legal Aid Clinic, Thamnapogpi jointly organized an awareness program on COVID-19 under the supervision of District Administration, Bishnupur District. Chandler Mishnupur Dis Director L. Pishak, Subdivisional Officer Moirang C. H. Somorendro, Principal of Moirang College Dr. K. Anand, Medical Officer of Community Health Center Moirang Dr. Umananda and staff and volunteers took part in the awareness program. 42 inmates of Moirang College Community Quarantine Center were discharged after they tested negative for COVID-19. Before leaving, face masks were also distributed to them. Time for another short break. Keep watching. Aked Center, Gari Makale Kaigi Imphal Valley Academy, the Hangliba Center, Asina, Net Amadi, IIT, JEE, Experiencing the Top Top Makalgi Coaching Piri, Ellen, Akash, Fiji Amadi, Kota Rajasthan, Experience Lay Rabba Faculty Singna, Center Asida, Takpi Tambiri. I am Sudhir Inam and I am a student of Comet School and I choose AK. I am Kojan Viraj, I am a student of Science National School, Orissa and I choose AK. I am Robachan Hong Sangbom, I am a student of Harvard School and I choose AK. Karen Hong Sangbom, Comet School and I choose AK.
Online admissions open. Register today. Manipur University da affiliate Tauraba South Asian Institute of Rural and Agricultural Management Sairam Langjing Achoba Infal West ki admission house de. Course sing di BSc Agriculture, BSc Horticulture Amadi Bachelor of Business Administration BBN. Aku pumarol gidamak ekho ki website www.sairam.org.in nataga 7641929924 for the contact of you. Awa ba phong do pa? Nongpok ning thau pan thabi imai pa ani gi seba matam sang na tawiramba ahal ibungo naurem angau maiteina maha ki punsi sengsel loira duna imung manung sagai na tai amadi marup mapang khwai pumna mapu thadok lamlaga hau khiba chai chat kun ma thoi lising ani kun thawan gi nong mapan ba leipa pu pan numita taibang mapu gi laikol da lairang leinam oina tin khre maha na lekhida bada nongpok ning thau pan thabi imai pa lai committee na awa ba phongdok pa galoina na mapu gi laikol da ingna chingna leiruna ba thauni jari awa ba phongdok chari ba nongpok ning thau pan thabi imai pa lai committee downtown university Jahi Mangan Biganu Adongi Ichabu Jahi Mangan Biganu North East India's most placement driven university ama oiriba Assam Downtown University gi admission hojare pandemic asigi yenglaga online class su September amadi gi hojare gani engineering paramedical amadi allied course singda Ming Chanbini Basinga Assam Downtown University admission office Babupara Bosem Imphal le rakta lak piduna form lo biu Ming Chanbiu amadi tanabi Welcome back. Khaupum Area Villages Authority Council Noneh has appealed to the Manipur government and authority concerned to consider the long pending demand of Hills Land Ownership and Compensation Demand Association. The association demands land compensation for the construction work on Zhaojang Tek Ring Park, Ring Pong stretch of Old Kachar Road, National Highway 37A, undertaken by Keystone Company Limited. Through a press release, Kavak said that the band called by HLOCDA over the demand was distributing normal life to the people. Kavak appealed to the authority to come to the negotiating table and solve the issue at the earliest. Ahead of Idul Adha Festival, May Park Ninthau Committee Manipur Co-Convener SK Wajid Sa has extended greetings to the Muslim community and Maitai Pangal brethren in the state. In his greetings, SK Wajid Shah said that due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the festival will not be able to celebrate with pomp and gaiety together with all ethnic groups in the state. He also appealed to the Muslim community to celebrate the festival at home with family members and urged all to follow COVID-19 guidelines. State government na matam matam ni paykalak ni ba, aman di police department na ay koy gida mukto hot na bili ba kaya asing asa ay koy na cooperation pimin naga, ay koy na support tomin naga, lain na asing atong na nagida mukto yum yum da gima pan topi dana, aman di yum da lay ba lay kaya dala iba sing chisu ay koy una ba, sana ba, hai na ba cak mina matam da cak cak na social distancing asa in min naga, hai ni ba idul adha agi ko may harau tha asa pang top mina si hai duna, may panin tau kami tigi may kaya dagi apel tau zari. Friends Club Waiton Makhalekai, YDA Waiton Maning Lekai, LDA Waiton Mayai Lekai and YDC Waiton Mamang Lekai in association with Waiton Gram Panchayat Sanitized Waiton Area using sodium hypochlorite today. This was the second time to sanitize the area. The volunteers also distributed face masks to the public at the event. Tripura yesterday reported 219 fresh COVID-19 positive cases, taking the state's tally to 4,722 so far. According to reports, the active cases stands at 1,721, with 2,962 recovered cases and 21 deaths. Of the total 7,224 samples tested, a total of 219 tested positive for the virus. These include 144 persons under the door-to-door -door survey, 60 under facility and 15 RT-PCR positive for the virus. On the fourth day of the door-to-door -door survey, 1,56,534 households were screened. The team traced a total of 2,433 persons with symptoms, 668 persons with comorbidity and symptoms, 1,371 people in home quarantine. The district-wise survey yesterday includes 833 from North Tripura, 517 from Unakoti, 545 from Dhalai, 176 from Kauai, 1043 from West Tripura, 
261 from Sipahi Jila, 685 from Gomati and 525 from South Tripura district. A total of 4,585 samples were collected and tested through the rapid antigen testing kit of which 144 samples tested positive. Now we have the local newspaper headlines. The Shanghai Express. COVID-19 claims three more lives stacking total to four. Waterlogging at MG Avenue poses threat to all. Three Assam Rifles men killed in militant attack at Chandel. Husband accused of killing wife held. Lockdown extended till August 6. The People's Chronicle. Three more COVID-19 fatalities stack states tally to four. Three Assam Rifles soldiers die. Five hurt in Chandel Embos. MNPF. PLA Alpha I claim attack, regret casualty. Four kids, 24 from AR facility among 47 new cases. COVID scare for NDNPS judge, staff, NAP personnel. Over 70 state security personnel infected. Infall free press. State's COVID-19 death toll rises to four. Government extends lockdown till August 6. Three AR personnel killed. Six injured in Chandel Ambush. MNPF. RPF Alpha I claim attack, CM condemns. Who will be the next Chief Secretary? NEP 2020 will bring great transformation in education sector, says TH Radhishyam. Manipur Mail, 3 AR personnel kill in ambush, Birain condemns. National education policy will be implemented, says Dr. Radhishyam. Three more die due to COVID, lockdown till 6. Congress wants action over treatment refusal. Now the top news headlines once again. Manipur's coronavirus fatality count rises to 5. India replaces Italy to claim 5th spot in COVID-19 fatalities. And will spare none, says CMB Rain over Chandal Ambush. This is all for now. Keep watching Times of Manipur.